hey youtube it is yours truly muriel and i'm coming to you today with a video on how i failed anatomy and physiology not once but twice twice and i oh if this is something you're interested in please keep watching I started in 2015 to start to start taking prereqs towards the nursing program and I don't know why I decided to take anatomy and physiology online. So me and my friend, we both signed up with the same professor and we took a hybrid course online. For what reason? I don't know because I think anatomy and physiology was the first class that I had even taken online. We did well in the classroom taking um, taking courses, taking our prereqs, but we wanted to do something different. We wanted to work and then we want to have the flexibility of doing the work online and you know, when time permits. Well, that was a bad decision because like I said, that was our first time taking an online course and definitely shouldn't have chosen to take anatomy and physiology online but we did and we paid for it we was not keeping up with the schedule um, we were not disciplined enough just to stay on task and so close to the end of se the semester they gave us the option you know you know how they give you the option to withdraw because i was looking at my grade and it was like a 64. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way I'm coming back with the final ahead. So I just went ahead and withdrew. So I withdrew the first time. And so that sucks. But the next time me and my friend, we, we took it again. We were, we were like, we're going to do it in the classroom. And we did it in the classroom. So the second time I took anatomy and physiology, um, me and my friend took it. We had a professor, um, she had a thick accent. I don't know, I think she was from Australia or somewhere, but she was so sweet and she knew her stuff. But this go around, I had a life changing, a life changing experience that like, just like tore me apart. I'm not gonna get into it. But anyways, I had to move an hour away from where I was currently living at. So I was depressed. I was sad because of the life changing experience. Um, I'm a single mother and I had to move an hour away, further away from the school that I was enrolled in when I was like r literally 15 minutes away before. So now this is the second time I'm taking anatomy and physiology and I had to move further away and being a single parent where I live at there's no internet I live out in the boondocks and yeah a lot of stuff hit me all at once and I did not I did not I was discouraged I gave up hope this is my second time taking anatomy and physiology I'm like all of these things are hitting me at one time. I'm like, God, what's going on? You know this is what I want to do. You know I need to pass this course in order to apply for the nursing program in the fall. You know I need this. And I'm just like, I, I just, everything is happening. And it's just like, I just gave up. So the second time I took anatomy and physiology, I end up, final grade was a 69.4 you need a 70 or higher to pass and a 69.4 is a d but like i say you need at least an a or b if you're trying to get into the nursing program because an a and b gives you points and our program is based on it's a point system and so a c doesn't give you any points and a d and an f definitely doesn't give you any points and it's not going to look good so the second time I took anatomy and physiology, I was bombed because I made a D and I didn't pass again. So now that's twice that I took anatomy and physiology. Now I'm just like in bed, gave, I'm giving up hope. 
And I'm just like, I don't understand. I mean, God, I've been in healthcare my whole life. I've been taking care of patients my whole life. I love, you know, patient caring and being in the healthcare setting. This is what I love to do. I don't understand. I don't understand. I felt like God was torturing me. But God was teaching me how to be patient and how to work hard for what I want and how to figure out how to eliminate those distractors that's trying to distract you from reaching the finish line. Basically, God was teaching me how to be patient. So no, it didn't happen on my terms. I didn't apply for the program when I wanted to apply for the program. I had to wait. I had to wait almost six months later, six months, maybe six to eight months till they offered it again. I had to pass it again and and then enroll in A and P two to apply for the program. So it took me took me I would say six to eight months before I can apply for the nursing program. So the third time I end up taking anatomy and physiology. I took it with the previous professor that was from Australia or wherever she was from. <laughs> I ended up taking her again and she was so happy to see my face. I was so shamed. <laughs> I was like, she was like, oh, I see some familiar faces. And I was just like in my seat scooting down like, Lord, don't nobody look at me. Cause yes, this is my third time taking anatomy and physiology. And no, I don't feel like talking about it. So <laughs> that's how, that's the attitude I had the first week. But after that, I was just like, yeah, y'all, this is my third time taking it. Yes. But when I tell you, nothing distracted me. Nothing distracted me. I made sure I had a good support system to help me with my children. I made sure that my work did not interfere with this schedule. I think this was the only course that I took this semester. And when I tell y'all, I gave it my all. I gave it my all. I was like, ain't no C's, ain't no C's, nowhere, Lord. When I tell you, I came up out of there with a B plus my third time. I am delivered. And that was just by me being patient, me trusting God, you know, persevering and not giving up, just, standing firm and working hard, you know, I knew this is what I want. God saw it in me that this is what I want. And he blessed me, me, honey. He blessed me. I am a living witness, honey. He blessed me. And I'm okay with that B plus. I'm okay because I passed. And yeah, it took three times and I'm not happy. I'm not proud of it. But you have to go through some things to appreciate the lesson it does not rain forever it does not rain forever and trust me when it's raining just know that something great is growing within you just know that it's okay failure is not the end you will succeed you may hit rock bottom but that's rock bottom there's only one way up from rock bottom so i just wanted to share that with you all today um because it was it was a it was a challenge that I had to overcome. And then I end up enrolling into anatomy and physiology too. And once you enroll in anatomy and physiology too, you are able to apply for the nursing program. So I enrolled in anatomy and physiology too in August in August of 2018. I applied for the nursing program in August 2018. I found out I was accepted. This was my first time applying in, at this school. And this school is hard to get into, honey. So, yes, when I tell you October 2018, I got an email saying that I was accepted in their ADN nursing, well, what is it, ASN? AS, I'm sorry. I got a email saying that I was accepted in the ASN nursing program at the school that I had applied. This was my first time applying. So when I tell you that was God teaching me how to be patient, teaching me how to 
studying, you, like, you know, making me work for it, not just handing it to me. I had to work for it. So I feel like everything that happened happened for a reason. I had to go through that and I appreciate going through that. So I just wanted to share that with you all. So yes, that was my testimony. I failed anatomy and physiology twice. What I hope you all gain from this video is to never give up. Just because it looks bad right now doesn't mean it's going to be bad tomorrow or it's going to be bad in three months or, or next year. The goal is to keep going, never give up, eliminate your distractors, and have a plan. Be focused. Prayer. Include prayer in your life, in your daily living, and just never give up. Just never give up. I mean, if somebody would have told me when I failed a &P twice that I would be in a nursing program in 2019, I wouldn't have believed them because what I saw at that point was a failure. But what I see now is a conqueror, is a winner. So don't ever give up. Don't ever base what you see off of what it's going to be because it's not going to be that. It is more. God has greatness for us. God is in the business of giving us beauty for ashes. If you all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, love costs nothing, smiles are free, and a hug could save someone's life. So be encouraged.